tackle this problem right here. Here this question is asking the population of a town grows at a rate proportional to the population present at a time t. The initial population of 500 increases by 15 percentage in 10 years. What will be the population in 30 years? How fast is the population growing at t is equal to 30? Okay, first of all, before we go and do this problem, you have to familiarize yourself with this equation. dp by dt is equal to k times p. Here this dp by dt is the population growth rate and this k is relative growth rate and p is the size of the population at a certain time. Okay, now from this one we are going to derive an equation for this population to calculate population at any time. Okay. To do that, you, you have to first realize this is a separable differential equation. So you can separate and integrate. So first we are going to bring p terms together. So this is going to be what? 1 over p. And then we bring this dt to the other side. So that's going to be just k, I mean k dt. k dt and we have here we have dp. Now we integrate both sides. If we integrate this one and this one, 1 over, 1 over p dp is ln of p, ln of p and in the other side we have integral of k dt, k is just a constant so this is going to be just k t plus a constant ok. Now we have to get rid of this ln because we want to derive an equation that that will be useful to calculate the population, population is this p so we have to get rid of this ln in order to, uh, in order to bring a good equation ok. So to get rid of this ln what we do is we take a e power both side. If we take e power this e and ln cancels each other and we will get p alone. Okay. So these two cancels and we will get p. And here e power kt plus c. When you have x squared times x power 4 that will be equal to x power 6 right. So when you multiply you will add. Here we have to do the opposite thing. So when you add it's equal to multiplying each other e power kt times e power c okay now e power c all together we can write it as a one constant because this is all together is a constant so we can say p is equal to c e power kt now we have to find out what is this c is to find out c we can just put a time for example if i put because we have for zero it's easy to find out because if i plug zero this is going to become c e power k time this is going to be time is going to be zero so k times 0, the whole thing will become 0. Let's go ahead and continue right here. p of 0 is going to be equivalent to c e power 0. e power 0 is just 1. So we will get p of 0 is equal to just c. So from this one we found out c is equal to p of 0. p of 0 is same as p naught. So instead of p of 0 we can write p naught. p naught mean initial. Now in that way we can replace this equation this c with this p naught so the equation is going to look like this p at a particular time is going to be p naught e power kt so this is the equation we derived from that now let's see how we can use this equation to calculate the questions like calculate whatever they ask for here the question is asking what will be the population in 30 years okay now let's look at the information provided. We have the initial population of 500, that's P0. We have P0 is equal to 500 and uh, increases by 15 percentage in 10 years. So when P of 10, it increases by 15 percentage. Okay, so we don't have some of the values. We don't have this K value. So if we find out this K value, we can derive a general equation because the question here is asking us to find out the 30 years but they have given information for 10 years increases by 15 percentage if we can find out how many like how much is going to increase it mean like 15 percentage and this one is equal to how much we can derive we can find out this k value okay now to find out this one we can put it as 500 now let's go ahead and calculate what is going to be the 15 percentage of 500. 15 percentage of 500 is 15 divided by 100 times 500. So from this one we can find out P of 10. 500 plus this is 5. 5 times 15 that's going to be just 75. So 575 is the P of 10. Now 
we have p of 10 available so we can use this equation in this equation we can apply this one in this equation to find out what is this k value if we can find out this k value then we have p naught and k available we can calculate the population at any time that's what we want because we want to calculate population at 30 years so if we can find out this k we can find at any time so let's go ahead and do that so we have p of 10 p of 10 and i'm going to apply that one in this equation p of 10 is equal to p naught that is 500 times e power k times t is 10 okay and p of 10 we found out that's 575 575 that's equal to 500 e power 10k now e power the e power 10k is going to be 575 divided by 500 therefore e power now we can find out 10k by taking la on both sides so if i take la on this side and this side la on and e cancels each other we will get 10k is equal to la on of 575 divided by 500 and if you divide you will get uh, 1.15 therefore k is going to be la on of 1.15 divided by 10 and that is equivalent to 1.15 divided by 10 okay let's keep it as this value la on of 1.15 divided by 10 or we can say 1 over 10 la on of 1.15 so we have the k value right now so we can find out what is this population at 30 years because from if we know the k value we can write a general equation for this this equation now we have p of t p naught is known that is 500 and then e power k is this value 1 over 10 la one of 1.15 times t okay so this is the generic equation no matter what time they give we can find it out here it's 30 we just have to plug 30 for this t and calculate that's it so this is going to be p of 30 that's what we are trying to find p of 30 that's equal to 500 multiply by e power 1 over 10 ln of 1.15 times 30 and if you calculate this one you are going to get 760.4375 so approximately we can say this is equal to 760 people so that's going to be the population in 30 years okay the next thing is how fast is the population growing at t is equal to 30 so when they ask for how fast it's a rate so population growing rate is dp by dt okay now we know the k we found out the p we just have to multiply these two to calculate the the last question okay now let's get rid of these things let me get rid of this one and i'm going to continue right here dp by dt is what we are trying to find for the last one so dp by dt k is we calculated right here that's 1 over 10 long 1.15 times p is 760 when you multiply you will get 10.62 so approximately it's 11 so we can say the population growing approximately 11 persons per year 11 persons per year and that's how we do that i hope this helps thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn differential equation there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time